twerks. Jeff Blank, get up here. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm going to do it first. I'm going to do it first. Uh, uh, and uh, so uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm, again, I'm going to like talk for 30 seconds. And, um, and, then, uh, and then a slide's going to come up. Each slide is 30 seconds, automatically kicks over to the next one. And then at the end, you get 30 seconds to wrap it up. Just kind of put a little bow on that story you just told and we all loved and we all laughed and hey guys we're all out here let's support each other it's gonna be great let's support me and be nice to me right now because i'm really <laughs> vulnerable right now and um but uh yeah so um i'm gonna go off stage and introduce myself and then come back on stage like i was never here before <laughs> so, all right Woo. ladies and gentlemen no i'm just gonna yeah i'm not sure what everybody Oh, hey guys, um, I know that you know that, um, like, I am, uh, you know, I'm a researcher, I do a lot of research, and um, I've been doing a lot of studies lately, and I just kind of want to walk you through, um, like, the journey of my most recent study, and just kind of, like, some of the great things that we found out, you know, and, and I feel like this is, like, it's good, like, good research, I feel like it's important stuff that everybody's going to need to know, Coming up here, it's a technical thing. Hold on a second. It's just gonna. Uh, but I think that if you just bear with me here, I think we're all gonna enjoy. Did you hit the button? <laughs> it took thirty seconds. Yeah, but did you start? Okay. Oh yeah, and then thirty seconds. Okay. Yeah, and that's it. I forgot my own rule. Sorry. Don't address the pictures, by the way. Don't break the fourth wall like this. Uh, but let's get that that uh, that first slide up now. Don't look at these. Don't spoil yours. Don't spoil it. <laughs> Yeah, so um, seagulls, guys. I mean, we are, we all love them, right? They love to eat french fries, they get fish every once in a while, but like, how much do we really know about the life of the seagull? Like, what's going on with seagulls these days? Today's seagulls, millennial seagulls, you know, like, what are they, what are they about, you know? What are they into? And, you know, so that's what I was going out, and I was like, I'm going to go to the Pacific Northwest, home of 80 to 75% of all seagulls, and, and you know what? And here's the thing is, in 1965, I don't know if you can see this, every seagull was named Lisa, all right? This is, this is number one, this is what I found out. Every seagull, from Maine to Alaska to California, Lisa, the name of every seagull, you yelled out Lisa, a million seagulls would just swarm on you. It was not pleasant, you would get a disease, but, you know, Lisa was a popular seagull name at that time, and um, and they, guys, I, they love you forever. This is actually, this is a real note I got from a seagull. Uh, Lisa, it was hard, it, I, when I left the Pacific Northwest, she gave me this. It was like, she was like, she's like, don't open this until you're on the plane. And I was like, okay. And it said, and it broke my heart. It broke my heart, but I'm a married man, all right? And those vows don't mean shit to a seagull, but they mean something to me, guys. All right? And um, so these were my research partners, uh, Katrina and Klaus, and they are a real great pair. You know, despite the fact they are not legally allowed to enter the United States, I feel like they did a lot of great work online. You know, um, they're, you know, I just, and I think those accusations were unfounded. But uh, Klaus, Europe's leading expert on Genocide one, but two seagulls. Great with seagulls. There's a ton about them, and you know they have some. But you know, and uh, of course we got some avocados. We got Katrina. Um, had gained a little weight since the last photo. I'm not gonna lie to you. A lot of that was avocado weight, but we got avocado though because this is what else I want you to know. Uh, seagulls love avocados. If you want avocados, that's a, or if you want seagulls rather, if you want avocados, don't have a seagull around because they will eat those fuckers. But if you want to get a seagull. It's like if you want, you draw more seagulls with avocado than with honey. And that's it. But um, again, this is our intern, Ronnie. Ronnie, um, Ronnie didn't understand quite what the seagulls were about. Like he was like, I got all this Miracle Whip, Matt, and I was like, I don't need Miracle Whip, Ronnie. It's a well-documented fact. Uh, that seagulls have problems with cholesterol. They don't want to eat Miracle Whip. They're, they're trying to keep that low. That they want the good fats of the avocado, right? Which they love. So, Ronnie, we had to let go. We had to let Ronnie go. Um, but, you know, he was a good kid. We still gave him college credit. So, you know, 
Of course, the chase vehicle was not the best we could have gotten. Um, I really wish we could have got, had a little bit more money in our budget to get a nicer chase vehicle. And again, Ronnie, he drove us to the desert. And we were like, where is the sea, Ronnie? Where is the sea? That we, like, where are we going to get? These are not sand gulls. These are seagulls, Ronnie. These are seagulls. And I just don't feel like he, uh, he really got what we were doing. And again, you know, but once we got out of the desert, you know, we've got some really great research in there. And again, like just highlighting that um, every seagull from the 60s named Lisa. All right. These are things you need to know, um, which wasn't so important to modern seagulls. But I think it really gave you kind of the history of them. Uh, seagulls love avocados. You know, you got to love that. And um, there was another fact. I forgot it. No, it's, you know what it is? It's, it's that, you know, seagulls, they get really attached, you know, and don't fall in love with a seagull. Because the seagull's gonna break your heart, all right? Because that's um, that's what I learned, and uh, you know, I just you know, I just I get really emotional about the seagulls sometimes, and you think about them. And I want you to tell you, I want to tell you something that Lisa, uh, the seagull, told me when it was uh, so take that with you tonight, everybody. All right. Uh, I'm going to bring up our next... Uh